you know, we all start out with our own DNA in the media. And one of the things I urge people to do, just like a doctor, when the first time you go see a doctor, he's gonna draw blood and check your pulse and check some vital statistics, and he's it's gonna take a baseline, okay? You need to have your own baseline. Oprah did a wonderful job of building a brand that was built on caring and compassion. Martha Stewart built a brand that really revolved around money and power. And during a downtime when she was sued, all the loyal followers of Oprah were suddenly very empathetic towards her and on her side. And when Martha Stewart got into some legal troubles, people weren't nearly so sympathetic to her. So it's really important to build a base based on caring and empathy out there if you want to be a public figure. Well, when people like Donald Trump and Rosie O'Donnell fight, I think there are no losers here. It's, it's what I call a non-controversial controversy. They both get their faces in the news. They're both happy about it. And really, nobody gets hurt. They're both, one's a big boy, one's a big girl. They both know what they're dealing with. And they realize that there's a, a faux part of it that's just sort of faux fighting. But at the same point, they both have political positions and points of view. And I do think there are some genuine frustrations and tensions that they both want to get out. But in the end, nobody's hurt. It's not a real controversy. You know, what I tell Monica Lewinsky today is you should, as bad as the media scrutiny was, and I think she was probably the most famous woman in the world at that point, she should be so grateful it didn't happen today with the TMZs and the Perez Hiltons out there. She would have gotten not a moment of privacy out there in the world. And what I ultimately say is Monica made a lot of choices, but the choices she made were based on her dignity. And a decade later, I'm proud of her. I'm proud that she chose dignity over dollars, that she didn't become that person who cashed in on a bad situation, but she really tried to raise it to a higher level. And I think there's a lesson for a lot of things because you can take a lot of things away from people, but in the end, if you have your family that loves you, your friends that care about you, and you have your dignity, that's a good basis for starting again. You know, there was a recent study by the MacArthur Foundation on teenagers and internet usage. And one of the most interesting things they said was, teenagers are learning a lot of good things from the internet. And one of them is how to manage their public identity. Anybody, whether you're a business person, an environmental activist, you have a special skill, anybody who wants to go to the next level needs to think about managing their public identity. It's not optional in this world we live in anymore. And we think about it in terms of politicians. If you don't define yourself, somebody else is going to define you and you're not gonna be happy about the way they define you. So it's really imperative you set a vision for yourself and you define yourself and you define yourself on your website, you define yourself on Facebook, you define yourself every day when you run a business, when you answer the phone. I don't think it's optional anymore in business in our lifetime. And those that do are going to find it that much harder to compete out there in the world. And it's, as we all know, it's tough out there in the world. And what I've done in this book is I believe Hollywood is the Super Bowl of image management. So I've taken all the lessons that we've learned at the highest levels of image management and I've tried to take them and make them accessible for the average business person, for the average person on the street, to know how they can take some of these lessons and apply them to their own lives. I faced a lot of PR crisis in my lifetime, and the worst one, the hardest thing for me is when people are in pain, and when people are really hurting, be it, I talk in the book about Elizabeth Montgomery's death, which wasn't really a crisis, but just a terribly sad moment for me. Um, the Isaiah Washington situation with Grey's Anatomy was just so volatile. It was a very tough thing, and I'm very fond of Isaiah Washington, and I'm very empathetic with my clients. So that was, that was a bit of a challenge. And really, the granddaddy of all PR crises that I've worked on is the Monica Lewinsky situation. And here was a young girl who made a mistake, but I think the president made a bigger mistake, and she was really being called to take total responsibility for this. And I saw what it did to her and her family and it really broke my heart. We're all different people, okay? We all have what works for us and what doesn't work for us. 
and it's like trying on a an item of clothing that doesn't fit you. If a, if a middle-aged woman who's a size 16 puts on the same dress that a runway model or a superstar is wearing on the red carpet, it's not going to work for her. It's not authentic to, to her. And what I think people need to be when I say authentic is true to themselves. Recognize what they are, what their place in the world is. And I'll give you a perfect example. One of my clients, a producer named Kathy Schulman won an Oscar for producing the movie Crash. And I helped her prepare her Oscar speech and we went and chose a dress. And I said, what's really important to remember is you're a beautiful woman, you're great looking, we're gonna have a great outfit for you, but you shouldn't out superstar the superstars. You're a producer and not an actress and we should wear something that's appropriate and reflect that. And that's what authenticity is about, is being true to yourself, being appropriate, being age appropriate, and really having a good sense of self. And it's funny, a lot of us are really good at judging other people, and sometimes we miss the boat on ourselves. And I really advise, surround yourself with loyal, smart people who will help you get at your own truth. Well, the internet's done a lot of things to the PR world. One, the speed and the metabolism of the media is amazing, a rumor can start in the morning and within literally minutes it can be disseminated everywhere. Apple stock took a tumble when there was a rumor on the internet that Steve Jobs was ill. United Airlines stock took a tumble when there was a rumor about that an old press release went out so the speed of it. And the second thing is I grew up in a time where there were real journalists out there with true journalistic educations and these journalists knew what was right and wrong, and they didn't want to disseminate lies or half-truths. They wanted to get at the truth. And yet we live in a time when speed trumps the truth. And I kind of miss journalistic standards, and that's something I'm fighting for, that it's not enough just to put it out there. It has to have a basis in truth. And But the good news is the Internet has made an open forum for everyone. And even Hollywood actors use it. I used it with Al Reynolds, who was married to Star Jones, when we wanted to get some videotapes out there and do an interview. We conducted our own interviews and put them on YouTube, and we didn't necessarily go to the traditional media outlets and said, hey, you want to talk to Al? We did it ourselves, and we posted it, and we got hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of views, and the mainstream media picked it up. And there's new ways of communicating there, and anybody who wants to be in business, anybody who wants to get ahead, has to have some knowledge of the internet. It's, it's not a trend, it's the future. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.